hello everyone I hope that uh, you have a good day today all right this video I'm going to show you okay, how to uh, write a C++ program uh, to compute okay, a restaurant bill okay for example if the uh, cost of the meal is 88.67 uh, uh, dollars okay, and then tax is uh six point seven five percent okay, of the meal and then tip okay, will be uh the sum of the meal and uh will be twenty percent okay on the sum of the meal and tax and then okay uh total of course will be uh, the sum of meal plus uh tax and plus tip okay and then uh how do you write okay a program to calculate all those values and display the cost of the meal, the tax amount, the tip amount, and the total bill. Okay, so the output will look like this. Okay, it will look like this over here. So let me okay, quickly okay, move this one aside and let me fire up the uh, Microsoft Studio okay, software. Okay, again, the software is free, okay, so you can download it from uh, Microsoft's website. So let me start a new project and then I'm going to call this one as uh, okay, bio demo okay bio demo click OK next okay and then empty project okay finish Okay, then I'm going to add the uh, source code file. So go to project over the menu bar and then click add a new item and then use the default okay, file name if you want to. Okay, and click add. So now I'm over the source code mode. Let me increase the, uh, uh, the, the uh, uh, size of my working area. So I will just double click the uh, uh, title bar over here and then again okay uh, in order to let you see better okay i will make the font size look bigger uh, bigger so i just press the control key roll my mouse button okay forward okay there we go and then let me quickly type in the code okay and then using namespace okay std int man okay the body of my man return zero again for me personally before i write any line of code i will just quickly okay, uh, test the program make sure everything runs fine so far so good okay the program ran and then even though no output is fine okay remember to close it okay all right okay so over here okay you can see that okay it say that the meal is equal to 88.67 so I might want to declare a variable okay, of okay, double data type okay, and call it meal okay. Okay, and then assign the value 88.67 okay, yeah. and then okay, uh, next one okay, I need okay, I need uh, another variable okay, uh, I'm going to call it text okay, so let me type it over here text get okay, double get okay, text and then text get okay, will be equal to okay, okay again uh, the uh, six point seven five percent okay, of the meal okay so okay, now it will be the meal okay times okay uh, six point seven five okay six point seven five okay Okay, percent okay since it's percent so which means that I need to divide this one by what 100 okay and again for me personally okay uh, when I add something change something okay I will just display something so I might type something like meal okay I give myself some space and then display the output okay and then Another one can okay, see out okay it will be text okay, and then okay 
it will be the value in the text. Okay, nothing fancy, one at a time. Okay, one at a time, yeah. Okay, because by doing so, okay, if I okay, made a mistake, all right, okay, if I made a mistake, okay, by doing so, okay, if I made a mistake, immediately I can check my program's output against the simple output okay, posed by the instructor, in this case, will be me. Okay, so uh, pretty good. So far, so good. They agree with each other. Okay, yeah. So now, okay, I can again okay, come back here okay, and then uh, close the program. Okay, then I can work on the next step. So next step, it says that okay, uh, the uh, subtotal, okay, the subtotal okay, okay, is equal to the meal plus the text. So I can again declare another variable called a subtotal, and then it will be equal to okay, the meal okay, plus text. Ah, so you see the uh, addition. Okay, you can use the uh, plus okay, uh, sign. Okay, then now I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready to calculate the tip. So the tip is equal to uh, the subtotal times okay, twenty percent. Okay, so okay, so now okay, I can okay, uh, declare another variable okay, called tip okay, at the same same line okay, if you want to. Yeah. So tip will be equal to okay, the subtotal. Okay, subtotal. Okay. Okay, let me try it again. Times twenty percent. Okay, okay, twenty percent. Okay, so again it will be twenty. Okay, and then okay, since it might involve okay, a real number, so I will use okay, twenty. Okay, divide by twenty point zero. Make it as a double data type, and divide by one hundred. Yeah, you can use a double data type if you want to. Okay, so again, nothing fancy. Okay, so. One at a time. Okay, so let me post this one. Okay, copy and paste this one, and type tip. Okay, and then make sure that okay, my readout okay, will be the same. Okay, like uh, the uh, simple readout okay, from uh, uh, my instructor. Okay, so again, the readout is 18.93. So let me check. Okay, so 18.93. There you go. So the total, okay, the total, okay, the total, okay, here, okay, the total here will be equal to the subtotal plus the tip, okay, and then again, okay, uh, let me not write all the code for you, okay, uh, so please, okay, just, uh, uh, okay, uh, fill in the rest of the code, okay, okay, to compute the total okay and then okay uh, a few uh, in the, the code to print okay or display the total all right I think they will be all okay it shouldn't take you for too long okay to complete the whole program okay have fun and let me stop over here.